All right, guys, I got a quick little project coming for you. Um, in the middle of a fire screen build, uh, let me show you that. I'm not sure if you can see exactly what's going on there. It's like a 42 inch wide by four foot tall fire screen. They got two trees coming up the side and then some smaller trees in the middle. So I need to put tree texture and I'll do a video on, on that also. But right now I'm working on, I want to put texture on the, one of these small trees. So again, with one of the with the um, <clears throat> small pine trees, I want bark going up the center, and then I just so I just want to put some texture in there. They kind of look pretty good as they are if I clean them up, but I just I don't want a silhouette. I want a little bit more to it. So <clears throat> I can put texture. I can do like a bark texture using the the, the peen side of the the cross peen hammer, but uh, I need something a little bit finer. So what I decided to do is I, I took one of the old um, ball peens that I had. Uh, I got several small ones like that, and I don't, I, I don't need more than one or two of them anyway. So what I'm going to try to do for today's project is we're going to flatten this out, kind of like you'd see as a tomahawk project, but I'm actually going to bring it down as, as like a texturing tool. So this one here, I might you keep, uh, since it wants to be rounded, I'll keep it rounded um, so that I can, you know, put smaller or shorter lines in. This one here, I'll flatten out maybe, you know, I'm thinking that wide. Uh, to allow me to do some longer straight lines. So that's the, that's the project, pretty simple, but again, you need a tool for texture, or you need a tool for cutting or whatever. I mean, you use what you got. That's what we're gonna do today, stay tuned. All right, I let this thing uh, soak a couple of times just to anneal it a little bit. I'm sure I didn't do a good job. And I'm sure I can't find my wire brush. There it is. I probably should have, um, I probably should have spent a little more time kneeling it, but we'll see what happens. Move that off a little. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, hopefully without destroying this eye much, what we're going to do is we're going to try to flatten this side down right here. Keep flipping it over so we can somehow get even. And once I get it flattened a little bit, I don't know really because I really don't need it extremely wide, especially for this job. So I'll, uh, I'm not sure exactly how wide I'll go with it, but um, our objective is to get it down to a point, so I might start working on that now. Alright, we're just going to wide it out here a little bit. end up having a curve and I know I am. Try to deal with it when it's a little thinner, I think. The tongs are the best tongs for this. I think we'll be alright. I'm just going to start bringing this down now. Actually, a step wouldn't be bad. Let me see if I can put a step in here. So I don't need all that steel. So if I step it, it might be all right. step. You get it centered. Yeah. Tongs don't want to work. If we get it centered in there, we might be able to do something. Alright, that's just nuts. doing here. Again, I'm, I'm after really not much wider than that for the texture. So I got to kind of clean this end up. It's rolling in there. And quite honestly, I'd like to do one with a roll like that. So when I put the texture in, I end up with two lines. But that's not what I'm after today. Just kind of like a hatchet shape today. So um, I'm going to see about flattening this off and stretching it a little bit more. I think we'll be done with that side. Right, what I'm going to do, or at least I hope I'm going to do. Oh, maybe I'm not. Try this piece this way. Because I want to put that 
I'm going to kind of work on this end. So I'm going to put a rod through there. Hopefully that doesn't distort the eye too much. And I can start bringing this middle back down. Alright. And that gives, that allows me to flatten that out a little bit. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Let's see what that ends up doing. Again, I'm trying to go more of a flat edge there. Come back here and start working on that edge. Centered if you can. Not much to work with on an edge there. This is horrible. Kind of cleaned up a little bit here. Not horrible yet. And, uh, we're going to heat it up again. We're just going to get that round out one more time. Alright, <clears throat> try to flatten this thing up one more time. I hate this thing doesn't quite fit in this party. clean this up. I think the rest will do on the grinder. I got a good enough edge there. This roll bothers me, but I'm gonna when I cut that down, it'll take that out. Let's try to get some of these hammer marks out. Got the wrong tone for the job again. Done. I think we're all right with that. And we're off to one side here a little. I'm going to heat it up. We're going to. It's going off that way just a little bit. This way. When in doubt, grab a bigger hammer. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. The rest will do on the grinder. All right, let's go ahead and get this point. Uh, and again, I'm just going to go for a. a a uh, short rounded side there. Should, it should just happen naturally. Okay, these tongs will hold. Put that over. Hating it. 
hate new projects because you're never going to have the right tongue for them. Sucks. Makes you mad. Makes you cuss. Makes the video suck. I'm okay with that. I want, it, I want it wider though, but I don't know, maybe that much wider. So I'm going to try to stretch that out and see if I can get it to the angle or the curve that I want. too round for me. I don't like well, how it looks. Not exactly. Half the flat I make it, the larger the, di the uh, circumference, diameter, whatever, so the less of a curve I'm going to have. So maybe Maybe I don't hate it so much. We're gonna we're gonna go a little farther. Stay there. I'm okay with that. Using the hammer, I'm pulling it a little bit left and right to give it to give it a little more distance there. I kind of like how that looks. Matter of fact, get her straight. I get her straight, I'm gonna like it just the way it is. She ain't too straight right now. There we go, not bad. Not too bad. See, now I freaked up the eye by putting that rod in there. So worried about that. So. I made that dimple in there, and that doesn't bother me as much as this side somehow got rolled over from the from the hardy pole. So now I'm gonna have to make a goddamn drift, I guess. Damn it! All right, in my box of punches that I've been picking up, old worn-out punches from auctions. And I figure I mean, for a buck you get a box of them, right? Um, good steel, and this this will make a halfway decent drift. So this one here is about the right diameter. I'm just gonna go ahead and with the hammer. Oval it up a little bit, and then we'll, we'll finish it off on the grind. All right, for this punch, I'm just, I'm just gonna get that stuff that's rolled over the hell out of there. And eventually it's gonna be tapered down anyway, which I'll finish off on the grind here. But I wanna get that out of there. All right, so we're gonna pick the side. We're just gonna come down here a little bit, just a little, so that I flattened out a little on that side to give it that oval. Gotta get her straight. Straight as straight can be. I like the oval. So I'll take the edges off on the grinder. I'm okay with that. I'll just do this end and we'll be we'll be ready, I think. Up. 
don't need it to be crooked. You don't need it to be falling out of there. You don't need it to be falling out of there. I don't look too bad. Alright. Now I'm not going to harden this because it's going to be an eye drift. Ultimately is what the plan is. So it'll get tempered just by using it, so there's no sense in hardening it. Uh, I'll let this thing cool off, I'll clean it off on the grinder, we'll come back and drift that eye. Alright, off the grinder. Got a nice taper, I don't know how much you can see, where am I here? Alright, uh, oval shape, and uh, coming down to a point on this end, but on the hammering end I also taper back down so I can, where am I, gosh darn it, where I can drive it through. So uh, it's the first drift I've ever made, but and I think where is it? Stanley would still be proud. All right, so I picked up a couple pieces around because with the with the work that I did on the head, I can't just lay it right across that hardy bolt. The drift is there, the hammer's there. I can go ahead and try this. I think it should work just fine. Stay there. Come on now. You'll love it when you're freaking around with the wrong tongs and the wrong tools. Doing it too. I'm gonna fuck up so much I won't be able to get this drift up. Get through that. Alright. Deal with it. Try it again next time. Tongs. Freaking, freaking tongs. Did a good job, we'll, we'll heat her up and do it the right way. Alright, I threw a couple magnets on those pieces. Hopefully they won't fly around as much as they did last time. That's through that way. Stay there. Run it through the opposite way. Warm up my fingers. Damn tongs just don't want to cooperate. There we go. Clean that eye right up. And I think if we're not crooked or anything, we will call it done. We are crooked, of course. Something is all done twisty fried. Not happy the way that looks. I'm definitely not happy the way that looks. That's better. It's a little goofy, right? All right, I think that'll be it. We'll let her cool down, and we'll get it in the uh, get it on the grinder, and I'll bring it back to you. All right, we got it cleaned up, hardened. Uh, I tempered the eye blue, and uh, it's, 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 there's not much I can, you know. This thing's gonna get hot anyway, so I'm not really too concerned about the hardening. Um, but we did we did harden it, quench it, and temper it back a little. Reground it. Here's where we're at. And again, this one here gives me a you know, I don't know. I'm not sure what what kind of uh, texturing I can do with this. I'm looking for some fine lines. This will give me some short and faded, you know, dimple type lines, uh, gouging type lines. And then this one here is a nice straight uh, line, which I think is what I'm going to use for a lot of like the pine needles in that tree and stuff. So let me go ahead and get the handle put back on this thing and then uh, we'll, we'll see what it does. Alright, it's not the best job of putting the handle back on, but it's on. Uh, there's a bit of an upward cant here, which is actually good when I'm hammering. Uh, it's, it's, the handle's not going to be straight. It's going to be tipped up a little bit like that, which I kind of like that on that side. This side, it's all round, so I can do whatever I want. So I kind of like, um, I like the way it feels. It's nice and light. And again, I'm not using this for big pieces. Um, let's go ahead and I'll, I'll throw a piece of tin in and we'll just see what it does. Uh, uh, I think I have some 14 gauge or something like that, which is what I'm using over there. And, uh, and then we'll try it on a tree and see what happens. 
All right, so here's the negative of this tree. So these are going to be the branches. sun there if you can see it it's nice some nice line texture there actually I think it'd be better if this thing was a little heavier I'm kind of liking what that's doing it's giving me the what I what I thought it would do see but uh, this one here where am I threading it the lines are nice and straight more like the uh, the pine branches the uh, the needles and stuff that I'm trying to put on the tree this one here with the rounded uh, end is actually a, like a deeper in the middle and it's kind of like a, a nick and it actually looks an awful lot like animal hair so that's something to think about in the future um, I like it. Let's let's put a real tree in and see what the hell goes up, happens. All right. So my plan is for the trunk texture. I'm just going to use my small cross beam hammer. Hopefully, give it just a little more texture. Just to give it a look of bark. And then for these needles or this stuff, I want it. I wanted to hit it with this. Just to give access. I kind of like this round one because I can control it and I can get right out on the edges. So I'm kind of liking that. These are so small. Just the minor details, but you see that you know the texture's in there. I like it. Let me finish this one off, and we'll uh, we'll we'll give it a verdict. I'm missing hitting the anvil, I'm rounding off the, the, the front of the thing, so it's a pain in the ass. But boy, I'll tell you, that sure does look good to me. Things flattened back down with it long. I do like it. I'm gonna wire brush this up and then I'll come back to you. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. Before the wire brushing, you can see the texture. All right, let me grab another one, just side by side. I block the sun there, so you see the texture, and then there's what we started with. So, from a distance, 
You know what I mean? I like it. It didn't take a huge amount of time to do it, and it just adds so much more character than just the plain old silhouette. This is all going to be painted flat black anyway, but those details will still be in there, so I like it. Let me brush it off. I'll be back, and then we'll be done. Uh, all right, there you have it. Just wire brush it up again. This is going to be painted flat black. Um, hold the other one up next to it. You can kind of see. I can't see with my glasses off, but I'm sure you can see the texture. It's you know, it's just really cool. I, I like the way that turned out. Um, didn't take a lot of time. Definitely add some definition. A uh, little ball ping hammer, flat on one side, rounded on the other. Uh, like I said, I think when I do the rest of them, I'm going to put a block down or something. I'm not sure because I'm. You can see it or not, but it, it just rounds that off. By the time I get done, I'll be grinding this thing down to nothing. Um, either that, or I'm going to take the handle off and harden it again. Um, we'll see. But that's it. Nice little project. Uh, again, I'm trying to put in texture. Make some tools to do that. And this is just a fine line, a couple of uh, fine line and nick type lines that you can uh, do. So, catch you on the next one, and hopefully, it won't be too long from now.